You guys want an inexpensive homesteading house option? $2.78, grand total. South Dakota. What do you like here? What do you like here? I still didn't do it right. Okay. Who knew? Is this hard? Yeah. Now, maybe, now maybe you'll quit making fun of me for my white guy. I never made fun of you. And South Dakota sure is beautiful. We are at the Laura Ingalls homestead. We don't really know exactly what to expect of this place, so I think we'll start with the movie. The serious case of land Just learned from the movie, they did settle here in the 1800s. It was part of the Homestead Act, so if you could come here and settle for a length amount of time, you had to be over 21, I think it had to be over 10 acres, you could have the land, the government would give you the land. What'd you learn in there, babe? I learned that they had 160 acres. I somehow didn't know that. What are you so excited about? Oh my. A covered wagon. Can you imagine traveling in this? This was their maple. This was their bus, guys. Everything you had had to go in this wagon. The way they made these covered wagons is this was a farm wagon right here. And they would just add this cotton duct canvas. Go in there, buddy. Yeah. What if this was your home? Oh my word. We think 280 square feet is tight. But it was only four of them. Are you driving? Are you driving, Mr. Brown? Yeah. Show us how you would drive this thing. <laughs> He's making a motor noise. Mr. Brown, you gotta make a horse noise. Good job. How would you like living in this covered wagon, honey? <laughs> You'll go on the Great American Farm Tour and that's I can't imagine how hard it would have been because these places get cold and hot and, and bugs and whoo. What's in here, guys? This is the Burvey shanty, and so it's basically showing us what the inside of a shanty would look like. What does a Burvey mean? Burvey, I think, were the people who lived here. Oh. No. So this is what a house would look like. The Burvey shanty, let me see what it says here. These were just other, the Burveys were just other houses for companies. That's all they were. Okay. So this is their shanty. And a shanty and means that just something slapped just together shack. to claim the homestead? Yeah, yeah, so like notice it's the paper, you know, the like newspaper on the walls and then it's wood and then it's tar paper on the outside of that. Oh wow, there is no insulation, honey. No, no. And, and we're in South Dakota. Well, that's why they had this, the wood stove. <laughs> that's mine! And then this is why they slept right next to the wood stove. And I think, but over here is the dugout, which is another way that people would live. Okay. No. This is a this is a dugout. Yeah. They would live in this too. Yeah. So this is another one. How this is what smell? I know. They lived in this in um, Maple Grove. Is that what it was called? I think it smells like. Uh, it smells like gas. Walnut Grove. Wow. So, yeah. so they lived in this at Walnut. Grove. This is a sod house. Yeah. So this is like what they would. So when people would come to the prairies, they either had to build a shanty. Or they had to build one of these. 
because they had to have a house and there was no woods so they couldn't build a log cabin. How's it going? Big fan! <laughs> okay, cool. Where are you from? Uh, Jasper, Minnesota, okay. right on the South Dakota Minnesota border. Okay, cool. You gonna take the wagon ride? somebody's house on their 160 acres that they weren't living in and that worked for seven years until the summer of 1888 when the little shanty school burned in a prairie fire. So they didn't have straw, so they filled it with, they just filled it with grass. For the mattress? Mm -hmm. Oh so wow. This is grass in here. It's not that comfortable. I mean, it's probably comfortable than wood. Old school irons. Old sewing machine. Remember when Pa sewed a cow to get Ma this sewing machine? And if you don't know who in the world I'm talking about, Laura Ingalls Wilder wrote the books, The Little House on the Prairie, based on her own life. This is their bedroom, I guess. The more, the older child and the younger child. Lily said this was her bed. <laughs> this, this little square. Right in there. No, in here. Oh, whoa, this in here. This is what it was. This was the first house. This is the first 160 house. square feet. 140. 140. And then, and then he built this on, then he built these two bedrooms. He built the two bedrooms. Ah. And then... Oh, and then they live in a luxury. They added on a living room. So how many total square feet? They have 472 square feet total here. That's it. That's crazy. I will say the breeze is nice coming in. This it door. doesn't feel that small. It doesn't. I really like these tomato chalices. I just love a garden. Then we had a nice dinner together. 
that was a lot of fun. If you guys like these fun type of vlogs, make sure you check out yesterday's video in South Dakota. You'll see what happens when our, she says North Dakota, when our farm visit fails us and we find something else to do. It's a lot of fun, check it out.